what's poppin' gang? It's Yandori TV back again with another video. Today we've got a comment from Mr. Beneb123 saying, Chaser update? First of all, my bro, it is a Mark II, not a Chaser. But I do understand the confusion. A lot of people think it is a Chaser because Chaser is a lot more prevalent. But today I'm going to quickly show you guys outside what progress I've made on it so far. It is not much, but it's also kind of a lot. I physically can't see much. There's a lot of planning and preparation that's gone into play. Let's go check it out. Damn, what you doing, hot stuff? Drawing my face. Another scorch over day here in the west side of Sydney. Blue, clear blue skies. Alright guys, as you can see, we've taken off the rear bumper, replaced the boot lid, and uh, we attempt some paintless dent removal. On this panel here, but it didn't seem to work. Are you sure about that? I think it might be better to just cut this rear, rear section off. See like right here. Yeah, I'll take this off. Section cut like right there. Snip. And then replace it with a new, it's called a beaver panel, this, this part here. So if we can find, a, I found a replacement panel that can fit right here. Let me see if you guys can visualize what I'm seeing. Get the fuck out of the way, weed. But that's what the plan is. I'm trying to find a shop that can cut this right here and replace a replacement. And obviously pull these couple dents out. Look, look at the fucking hood, bro. Look what happened here. So apparently the old, and the roof too. So I'm pretty sad about that. Um, apparently, what happened was the uh, the old car cover that I was using was scratching it up and was causing like heat and condensation to be trapped underneath it and it was only a $30 eBay cover so I'm kind of spewing about what happened to the roof and the bonnet um, with the bonnet it's fine I've got a replacement bonnet to go on in silver as well because this one is a little bit creased and uh, let me just show you up closer real quick see it's just gone all fucking it's just got COVID. See, it's been scratched as well. So if you guys are putting car covers on, make sure you get a really good quality one. Because the one that I had was a bit shite. And I don't know, I think the heat's trapped it out and like faded out some of the paint as well. Um, as for the front, yeah, the hood, same situation. But it's fine. We're going to be replacing it. I mean, nothing that a bit of paint can't fix this one. Because you can see it's creased here. And it's also got a crease over here as well. Um, as for the front, we are missing the headlight support because the headlight support that we've got uh, was actually really bent. So we ordered a new one, which is on the way. So that should let me... The new headlight support when it comes in should allow me to put the front end together quite easily because um, the, the front headlight support holds up the headlight as well as supports the front bumper. Uh, initially, I found one, some dude in Russia selling one. For 150 plus 150 US to get it shipped to Australia for a total cost of like 400 and something. So I was like, eh, yeah, and I found some bloke in Queensland, um, Michael Jin from Dory Junkie, and uh, he sold it to me for 200 bucks plus postage, 230. So 230 bucks delivered to my door. Um, it's currently on the way. And that is here. I will be able to finish the front end, so I'm quite excited about that. Because finishing the front end is like one of the easiest parts on this car, given that the most of the attention is in the rear. So, although a lot of progress hasn't been physically made on the car, aside from replacing the boot lid and taking the rear bumper and stuff off, I've done a lot of research and kind of got my plan of attack down pat. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I mean, the physical damage is the most, the hardest part of fixing this car up. Dropping the motor and gearbox is a matter of saving up and putting the funds together. And that's the fun part, you know, putting the fucking lead in this driver and it's, you know, on its, in its own power. I'm so keen for that. 
All right, what's good? Welcome to the PC cam. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the damage that we've inspected here on the Mark II. Um, so as you can see, we've taken the red bar off, we've taken the lights out, uh, we've replaced the new boot lid, which give, it shows how much of a gap is there. As you can see on the left side, that is a big, big gap to bridge. So what I'm kind of planning on doing, if you look on the right side of the screen here, this is called a beaver panel cut. And the beaver panel cut is the rear cut section of a car. And I don't know, somehow magically, bro, the universe has just found this for me and it's available in Queensland for now for about $400. So I was thinking as opposed to seeing this crumpled zone on the left, as opposed to trying to pull that out and get in the bootlets to, to fit back on, I was thinking, what if I just chop the Kent and replace it with this beaver panel so that way this rear section will be 100% straight. Only thing is, I don't know if it's going to be DIYable, you know, I mean, that's a, I mean, not where the, my hand is, but just a bit to the left here, making that cut and then welding this, this fucker on would be a pretty big task. So what I'm currently doing now is I've, I've hit up, hit up a couple different uh, panel beaters and smash repairers and seeing, I'm going to see one this week in person to have a chat with him and see if it's a viable task to do, how much it's going to cost me, how long it's going to take and you know the repercussions and different maintenance things that need to happen because essentially you're cutting the back end of the car um i don't want to diy it because it's a big slab of metal to cut off and yeah i'd rather not diy and plus if i cut too far in or too not far in enough and getting the measurements exact i'd rather leave it up to the professional shop to do i mean i've already made it this far and i'm willing to get the car that's all i really need done this dent quarter panel dents pulled out there's literally two dents there one two and then if they get the boom snip cut down the middle here i'm pro provide this rear beaver tail weld it on and the rear end should be good as new i've got the new boot lid slapped on as well the boot lid's ready to go and uh essentially then the bodywork will be done Exciting stuff, but I'm kind of nervous to find out how much it's going to really cost me. I'm hoping it's going to be like a grand or two tops because I still got to put money into the uh, actual engine and the gearbox and the turbo and the tune and uh, it's going to spiral out of control. But the beauty is, let me show you guys how much these cars are really fetching on the internet. As you can see, the price of this Mark II. 36 grand. I mean, it looks pretty nice, but I ain't got, I ain't gonna be dropping 36 grand on a whip right now, bro. I got real estate and shit to buy, man. So I ain't about that. Again, Chaser Automatic, 34 grand. Chaser Automatic, 35, 25 here for this automatic one here. Fuck. And this one here asking 33. And this is all excluding what I've seen on Facebook Marketplace. I've seen some of these Mark II's Chasers go up for like 30, 40. I'd, I'd say a fair price on them right now, given the current market is like 30 35 that's um a fair amount to be paying given what i've seen but i don't know what they're actually going to be selling for so this is the reason you bu I, I bought this this shell the way it is so i can slowly build it up as opposed to having to drop 30 35 g's on it straight away plus it's my favorite chassis and it's something that i see myself doing if you guys made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all the that watch this video from start to finish i just dropped a new track on all streaming platforms precision go check it out on my new youtube on my other youtube channel my Yandori music channel i'll leave a link in the bio below and you can look it up on spotify stream it there apple music soundcloud wherever you want share on your instagram stories and most importantly add it to your players shit's a vibe i'm coming through with some new jams this year and i'm keen to take you along with the journey so uh one step at a time, guys. You know, there's a lot of shit going on in the world right now. But uh, just stay positive and keep doing you and just chug away your projects one step at a time. And, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to me in my DMs in my, or drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. Peace out, guys. Need a hundred stacks, that's a fact. I'm in that old school, whip it a little fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shawty looking thick from the back with my dogs a day. That's my gang, that's my slap. I be trapping now, and I feel like just a minute. Shawty, give me top in the wind, so I keep the windows tinted. I could be on your block, take a trip, take a trip to West City. If, if I see an eye in my vision, hit, hit, hit him with precision. Uh, on some real.
real shit, I be on a killing spree The way I move out on the streets, they get the best of me Made a hit with Prince, now I rock, I want the beat Every night I'm making music in my mind